Well, hello there, strangers. It has been a long time since I uh, made any videos, and maybe I'll do it again. Who knows? The important thing is that uh, I'm here now, and so are you, and you're watching this. Maybe not. Maybe you're putting it on the background and just listening. Either way, hi, welcome to now. We're uh, having a big day here. Had a big weekend, so we're going off taking some sales to the post office. We're also going to stop at the Lego store today. I uh, have some Legos to trade in. Um, this is all the sales for the weekend. But let's hit the road, get the day started, and uh, see what happens. So I am at the Atlanta Brick Company Lego store, and normally what I do is I collect a bunch of Legos that I find at different uh, estate sales, lawn sales, uh, the auctions that I do. I save them up, like, if they're not complete sets, like this was an open box, and I could take the time and go through to see if I have the whole set on eBay. You know, this would have gone for it without, you know, off the top of my head without looking it up maybe like 40 or 50 bucks if this was a used complete set and i used to do that um now i just i get so much stuff um and they're good to me here the combination of i get so many legos that i have to go through that's just not worth my time the team here at atlanta brick company treats me pretty well and i trade them in for store credit and what i do is i buy uh complete sets uh sometimes new sometimes you use at the store has and sell those instead um and they also do uh, trade-ins for cash, but you get much more value if you trade in for store credit. This is just a bunch of random jewelry um, and sterling. Uh, I guess my camera wasn't really facing. Hey, fire that camera guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, so it's just jewelry, the same thing. Find that state sales, lawn sales, auctions, yada, yada. Uh, my buddy uh, buys metals that he melts down and then he sells. This, though, might be the big winner. So this is a, when I looked it up, so you can see that it's from International Toy Fair, Nuremberg, 2005. And I saw that it had a lot of value on eBay. I'm not a Lego expert or collector, so I can only go by like my very limited research skills. But I did find this on eBay that it sold for over $1,300. Um, but that said, I, that's the only one I could find. Um, so I'm gonna bring it in. And the reason I think that it has value from my understanding is it's one of the first uh, poly bags of Star Wars that Lego offered back in 2005. And it was like an exclusive, I don't know if it was that exclusive toy fair, uh, specifically or if it was also at like uh, comic cons like sometimes san diego comic cons um or you know new york comic con uh, etc they offer these kinds of things too so anyway i'm gonna bring it in see um if if they're excited about it in the store uh and what i could potentially get it for it this kind of thing i personally would feel better if it does have that high of a value um selling that high of a value on ebay kind of makes me a little nervous to be honest um because uh, it is high value, so if something goes wrong, like I can insure my package and everything. So it's not so much that uh, the shipping, it's more of um, what a collector, somebody who would be paying a premium for this, their expectations of the condition of the product, for example, because um, it is a it is new in the package. The package isn't open, but the package does have a little bit of wear, like random wear on it in the plastic. So uh, as much as I could describe that um, in my eBay listing, that could be, you know, that's also subjective. So the collector, you know, if they pay a premium for this and not be happy with the conditioning, I don't know if that's an issue, but just in case, and you know, then it'd be a case and they'd have to return it. And since it's high value, like the, the more times it has to travel through the mail or the more hands that it seems to touch um, without a direct handoff, it makes me a little bit nervous for these higher end things. So I'm gonna bring it in, see what they might offer me for, uh, for cash on this one. So I got $172 in store credit for that bucket of Lego that I brought in. This one, so the Darth Vader character itself um, is worth anywhere from one to two or maybe uh, maybe slightly around that uh, $100. He's a light up Darth Vader. If you press his head down, his uh, lightsaber uh, lights up, uh, kind of like me. But um, 
if you know what I mean. But uh, they ended up putting him in another set, so that actually, you know, makes the value of these suffer since there's more of him avail available on the market. However, the thing is that this is in its original packaging, so he's not sure how to value that it's still in the original package. Um, he said he might put it online, like if he was to sell it in his store, he'd sell it for roughly a thousand bucks. He'd just put it up there and see what happens. Uh, I'm not sure if it's if that's the value of it or not, but he said he could, he would only pay about two hundred dollars, possibly three hundred dollars on this. No, I'm just because he's just not sure. So when he looked up uh, comps for this online, he looked at Bricklink.com. That's you know if you're if you know Legos, if you're a collector of Legos, you use Bricklink. Um, that's just like the, a trusted site, and it's a lot of um, high value things, collectors, uh, very uh, trustworthy site that people will shop and use to buy and sell. There is one offering on there uh, with package just as I have it here for $3,000. Um, so that is an offer, active offer on Bricklink for this. Um, but again, it has never sold, so they really don't know what the value. You know, the value is only whatever somebody's willing to pay for it. I'm going to throw this on eBay, maybe two grand, something like that, with the best offer option. And just let it sit for a while and see if there's any interest. Um, if I end up getting a lot of offers, then maybe this should go to auction on eBay and I'll put a reserve price on eBay um, and kind of see what happens. But either way, whatever this sells for, Chris does want to know because on the market, this has not sold recently. Um, I did see uh, my initial research. I, I did see, like I mentioned earlier, that I, I saw like $1,300 that this had um, sold for in the past, but that also was overseas. I think it was Germany. Um, so I really don't know what to expect or even if I was looking at the exact same item because I'm not a, uh, for these high-end collectible uh, rare Legos, I could have I could have been mistaken with what I was looking at. That's what we're going to do and hopefully it's going to go for thousands of dollars and uh, then we can buy a lot of mushroom jerky, which is fantastic because I love mushroom jerky and a lot of iced coffee, of course. <laughs>